to 17th century mathematicians, the distinction between analysis and synthesis was a distinction between a method of discovering facts or theorems, that was analysis, and a method of proving theorems, which was putting the pieces back together, and that was synthesis. And they claimed that the uh, classical mathematicians, Greek mathematicians, had had these methods, that the Greeks themselves had had a method of analysis, which enabled them to discover and prove, to discover, sorry, certain theorems, but that they'd then covered it up again and given you only the theorems without giving away how they discovered them. So this was a long-running discussion in the 17th century between these two approaches. During the 17th century, techniques of algebra came to be called analysis because they thought that algebra was really the method that the ancients had had for discovering things and that algebra and analysis were almost the same thing. So when 17th century talk, mathematicians talk about analysis, they're very often talking about what we would now call algebraic methods of discovery. Newton, remember, called his first treatise De Analisi. He uses analysis in the very title of that. So he certainly thought that he was using analytic, algebraic methods. Later, he becomes much more concerned with synthesis, with methods of proof, geometric methods of putting things back together again. So he wants to go back rather like the ancients did, and hide the analysis and only show you the synthesis. He wants to show you the geometric methods, not the algebraic methods that he had in fact used. 